Hi guys, PJ here today taking a look at the PC release of Observation. Now, this game's currently on offer on the Epic Store. In fact, you can get it as low as £7.99. It's normally £19.99 and it is exclusive to the Epic Game Store. It'll be coming to Steam, uh, I believe it's about a year's time. But for now, your only option is the Epic Game Store or the third party key resellers. Now, as you can see, booting the game up, it's gone straight into 21 by 9 mode. There's your various graphics options and gameplay options that I was quickly flicking through there before starting the game. The game set itself up to the absolute maximum for me on its settings. Now I'm running an RTX 2060 and a 1600X Ryzen CPU, which is a 6 core 12 thread CPU on standard clocks. I installed the game on a normal hard drive. It didn't look too taxing, so I didn't feel the need for an SSD. It's on just a normal 7200 speed hard drive and there was no problems at all. In fact, as you can see, we're on a loading screen right now, the game loads pretty quickly. I mean, the graphics assets are really high quality. The in interior shots of the space station and stuff do look very nice. Now, the idea with this game is a little bit weird. Uh, I'm not doing a, a game review here, but just to fill you in, if you don't control the character, you actually control the space station in a way and all of its cameras and intricacies so in other words you sort of guide the character through the station which is derelict if you like something catastrophe has happened and there is one survivor left and no one knows where all the other survivors are now the aim i would imagine is to find you know anybody else but it appears the ai has been taken over by uh, maybe an alien force or something else but the ai isn't functioning quite as it should do so although it's helping you at the start you know getting power on and locking doors sorting problems out it's not helping you as well as it could as the game progresses now i've played about two and a half hours of this so far the game in total is in the region of should i say six hours okay even allowing for fumbling a bit and getting stuck on certain areas now the intros like this aren't skippable okay i couldn't get them to skip at all so i guess you just have to wait for them to play out and i did find them a little bit long-winded if i'm truthful if you're the type of person like me that just wants to get straight into the game you sort of held back a little bit but the novelty and the story of the game is quite interesting it's certainly worth 7.99 but i believe it's worth 19.99 to be honest with you it is a very high quality game the developer the developer team rather have done very very well with it it gives you the sense of being alone you know alone in space with nobody there and just this ai that uh, is sort of partially working now for myself i will finish the game I'll definitely go through it and finish it. How does it run on this spec computer? Well, let's have a look. Let's get some of the uh, MSI Afterburner overlays on and see how taxing it really, really is. Because playing it, there was no stutters, no hesitation, nothing. Everything was perfectly smooth, really nice. So let's switch it over now and get you some displays running. And there we are, guys. There's the game running. Um, as you can see, even on the maximum settings for this GPU, we're only looking at what they're 52% utilization. CPU, um, yeah. overall, 14, 15%, 17%. Very, very low. You will be able to run this on a four core CPU, uh, like an old Intel 2500 GTX 970 setup. No problem at all. Just drop your settings down to sort of high. If you are getting FPS problems, I recommend you drop things like uh, shadow resolution and screen space reflections. They're the two main culprits in this game for causing you know, low FPS. So they're the two things to look at first. Now, I did incorporate a couple of crashes to desktop. So just bear that one in mind when you're playing this game. Okay, so we've established it's a very, very easy game to run. You should have no problem on running this on an older Intel, such as a 2500 CPU. Um, we know that the GPU side of things, very easy to run again. I mean, on the lower settings, you should actually be able to run this on a three gigabyte GPU without problem, and also a four core CPU. It's, it's not too taxing at all, probably because of the way the game plays out. It's not an action game as such. 
but turning things down like screen space reflections and ambient occlusion, shadow detail is normally the primary ones on this game that sort of taxes the GPU. So if you've got if you got FPS problems, drop down your shadow resolution and uh, drop down your screen space reflections, and you should see a notable improvement. You should see a good sort of 10 FPS improvement in doing that. But uh, as for myself, I am going to carry on playing it. I am going to complete the game in fact it's a very interesting game it's a slow paced game so it's sort of one that you could do over either over a, you know a couple of weeks or you could just run through it in five hours straight and get it done but it is worth playing it's very atmospheric thoroughly recommend it so guys i'm off to carry on playing it thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you again next time